today is the big moving day i'm literally so excited so i woke up pretty early today and i just like finished packing all my stuff i have pretty much everything packed just some of the kitchen stuff needs to be thrown in a box but besides that i'm pretty much ready to go um i'm gonna go get the rental car right now um because it's kind of near where i live and then i'm gonna drive out to where my boyfriend weston lives pick him and his cousin up because he's gonna help us move we're gonna drive back with some of weston stuff drop it off at the apartment then come to my apartment move most of my stuff and then um we'll just go from there and then if we have time we might run back out to where weston lives if not we'll probably go tomorrow but i figured i'd take you guys along with i'm literally so excited i've been waiting for this day for like weeks if not months like i think it's gonna be so awesome and when i get there um i'll show you i'll give you guys an apartment tour um because i think last time i was vlogging it cut off because i was about to start doing the apartment tour when the um, repairmen came in to replace the microwave and then after that i kind of had to get back to work because we went to see the apartment during my lunch break so once i get there today i'll give you guys an official empty apartment tour and then i'll take you guys along with me on the rest of the day should be fun okay so i got the rental vehicle here is our whip for the weekend we got a minivan that way we could just put all the seats down and then we don't have to worry about like bungee cording like stuff to the you know to the trunk and all that okay so now i'm just gonna run back to the new apartment drop off a few things and then i'm gonna go out and pick up my boyfriend hey guys so i am officially at the new apartment i'm gonna give you guys a very quick empty apartment tour before i go pick up my mans and we start the moving process um i'm literally so excited i the apartment is amazing it's in a perfect location it has like all the amenities like a pool a gym all that stuff i'm literally just so excited to start this new chapter of my life and i can't wait to show you guys around the apartment Let's walk in here's the door and then the kitchen is to the right so we have a nice brand new dishwasher oh this is just oh these two things it's just a little gift that i got my man he's been going through some family and work stuff recently so i thought i'd give him a little housewarming gift and then we have our ginormous ginormous fridge i mean tim and i do eat a lot of food but like oh, i gotta clean that it looks like but anyway him and i do eat a lot of food but like holy shit and then we have beautiful stove, the brand new microwave that the guys <laughs> installed like a day or two ago. Decent, decent cabinet space, not too shabby. Sorry if the camera goes in and out of focus. And then it's nice because the kitchen kind of opens up into the living room. I have the blinds closed. So then you walk over here and then we got like the little bar area that'll probably also double as our kitchen table. I don't think we'll be getting a kitchen table yet and then you're in the living room i have the blinds closed for right now but i love the apartment it gets so much natural light there's a nice little fireplace let me just open this up oh, it looks like it's over here <laughs> beautiful and then our balcony that we have out there it does face the inside of the building there's like a little courtyard that has like chairs and like fireplaces and all that and then in the back behind that little waterfall thing that's where the elevator is and then behind that is one of the pools so then here's like a view of the living room oh come on camera okay here's a view of the living room very beautiful lots of tans and grays which is like I'm literally having like a tan moment right now. I, I freaking love like neutrals, so it works out beautifully. And then we come here. We have, oh my God, I think this is my favorite part of the apartment. Washer and dryer in unit. And then there's like a little storage area. I already put my laundry stuff and then I got a few rolls of toilet paper right there. Very exciting. And then we have the bathroom. I already put a few things in here, but Again, decent counter space and shelving. I already put the shower curtain up just because I was just excited and I wanted to do something. Then I put some toilet paper right there. Looking good. And you go this way. And we got in the bedroom. We have our huge, oh, where's the light? Huge walk-in closet, which is good because I have so much stuff so that'll be much needed and then you're here in the bedroom pretty spacious i think we're gonna put the bed over on this wall and then it has a nice big window 
um, which as the sun goes on throughout the day, there'll probably be a lot of direct sunlight in here because the sun basically in California goes from here to here. So that'll be nice. Probably put my TV on this wall. And then of course you walk right back out and you're here back in this area. We made it back to my apartment. Time to start loading up on my sheet. Yes. <laughs> Not looking forward to it. <laughs> okay, update on the moving process. We brought most of Weston's stuff over to the new apartment. We're currently working on mine. It looks like a mess right now, but we actually have a lot of stuff in the car. It's going pretty quick. Um, still have a, probably a few more trips to do, but you know, so far so good. Our first Target run of the day. Very successful. I'll do a mini haul when we get back, but looking good. Hello, Hello. moving crew Hello. is here. Yes. Yay, say hi to the vlog. <laughs> so far, so good. We gotta go get some more stuff from my apartment, though. So this is what we have at the kitchen so far. Still, all the spices are in here. I think I'm gonna get a spice rack just because we don't have as much cabinet space in this apartment as the old one. I bought some new dishes, so I got all those washed and ready to go. Um, I need to find the top to the blender. <laughs> it's somewhere in one of the boxes. And it's a new Keurig. My friend Leslie bought a Weston Eye as a housewarming gift. There's my fish chilling right there. I think we're gonna put some cups and stuff in here. And then obviously over here we have the microwave stove. I put some like snacks up there. And then I think, oh yeah, if this focuses, we got some more dry foods right there, lots of pasta. The fridge is empty right now. All my refrigerated food is still at my old apartment that I have to go get today. And if you walk around here, I haven't decided if I'm gonna leave this shelf here. Yeah, it does fit right there, but I kind of want to put like a shoe rack there so people take their shoes off before they come into the apartment. This is just a bin for shoes, so still trying to figure that one out. We kind of have the desk set up for now. Obviously there's a lot of stuff. Weston does music things, so here this is like microphone and then that's where he works. His keyboard, all that. Obviously all of this <laughs> will not be here once we figure out how to unpack. This is our temporary TV stand <laughs> for right now. <laughs> Just more boxes, more bags. This stuff, the mirror and the shelf, might put it somewhere over here. It depends on where we put the couch. That's just all the recycled boxes and tools and stuff. The porch doesn't have anything on it yet. And then we'll walk over here. I'm gonna get some bar stools for that area. We got the laundry. Okay, the bathroom, let me turn the light. It's kind of a mess right now because I was starting to, oops. On camera. I was starting to unpack, so the bathroom's a little bit of a mess right now, but I don't know how toilet paper looks like that. This, I think I'm gonna get another towel rack just because this one is sh so short, it's right above the toilet. I feel like the towel is just gonna be like touching the back of the toilet, and then we have our shower curtain. But yeah. Here we go. He's got the goods. You got the food. Yes. They try to give me the wrong order at first. Heck no. I'm like Alex, and I'm like yes. R. I'm like no. <laughs> Alex V. Yes and no. I'm so excited for this iced coffee. Thank yes. you. Yeah. Okay, so the lighting's bad since we're in the IKEA parking garage, but look at how good this looks. I'm literally so excited. Oh my. <laughs> I 
Okay, so we just left Walmart. As you can see, empty handed. It was a bus, same thing. They didn't have that much. And then we finally got a few things and we're gonna get in line. And the line was ridiculous and it's, it's not worth it. I don't know what it is this weekend. I don't know if everyone got their stimulus checks so they're now out like shopping. But we're in the middle of the parking lot. But this is turning out to not be a very good shopping trip. We're gonna try Target. There's a Lowe's here, maybe the Lowe's. We'll see. We'll see what happens at Target, but so far, not very good. I think he's a little upset. <laughs> nope. We're tired. We didn't sleep well last night. But we'll see what happens. Oh, was so bad, We've bro. made it to the mothership to Target. Hopefully, we have some better luck because we are losing hope. We're losing energy. It's been a long day. <laughs> yesterday was a long day. Well, yesterday was a long day, and then today we were hoping to buy a lot of furniture, and that doesn't seem like that's gonna happen right now, but we'll see what goes on. <laughs> okay, we got a few things so far. Target has been a lot better. <laughs> Way less chaotic, so we're good there. That's not alcohol. Do you so want alcohol? Friendly. No, we're family friendly. So when you first enter the apartment, we have these hooks on the left where we keep our keys and our masks. And then over to the right, we have these hooks where I like to hang up our jackets. It just helps us clear up some space in the closet. And then we can move this way over to the kitchen. We have our nice counter and sink. I love how the kitchen opens up into the rest of the living room. That way if one of us is in the kitchen like cooking or cleaning and the other one's chilling in the living room, we can still chat and hang out. Then over here we have the Keurig, we have our water filter, there's my little fish. And then over on this wall we have my Elvis posters, my Elvis in Hawaii posters. I got these at a yard sale a few years ago. Then we have the rest of the kitchen, the stove, the microwave some cabinets with some snacks in them. And then over to the fridge, we've been collecting magnets when we travel together. And then on the little whiteboard right now, we currently have a vacation countdown. We're gonna be going to New York in about a month to see my family and then Hawaii in a few months. I'll definitely be vlogging both of the trips. Then when you go over here in the entranceway, we have this little shelf. It kind of doubles as a storage unit. And then also I have a little things I've picked up while traveling, such as my John Stamos prayer candle and other little knickknacks and stuff like that. I think it's really cute. There's a lot of cute little things on here. Candles, some decor. It's nice when you first walk into the apartment. And then next to the shelf, we have a basket for our shoes. And then over here, you can see the rest of the living room. And over here where the bar stools are, that's where we sometimes eat if we're not eating in front of the television. <laughs> you can see the kitchen from this angle. Then over here is my boyfriend's music studio. I actually made him that sign. I custom ordered the neon sign and then I actually went to Home Depot and I got the piece of wood and I got the green panels and I attached each individual panel to the wood. So On My Way is actually the name of his first song. It's also my favorite song. I'll insert some footage of the sign lit up so you guys can see what it looks like. But it just really gives his little studio area um, a little bit more of like a vibe, especially when he's late at night working. It has nice lights in there. There's his microphone where I'm cur currently recording the voiceover as we speak. <laughs> There's his little keyboard. I just have a few other little things on the desk, such as some artwork, some photos. There's my vlog camera and both of our laptops we keep there. 
And then over to the left over here, you can see the rest of the living room. Then we have this shelf right here next to the big mirror. I'll show you guys a close up of what's on all the shelves in a moment. But as you can see on top of the shelf, we have some fake plants, some candles. Then when you make your way down here, I have a little Los Angeles sign. I have a Ruth Bader Ginsburg prayer candle. And then I actually have some photos of some of my friends and I. As well as some little Funko Pops of some of our favorite characters. Down here is kind of our little makeshift bar cart area. We have a few bottles, some shot glasses, our wine glasses. They're hanging on a little rack I got at Ikea. I have a few bottles of alcohol right there. And I like to collect shot glasses when I travel, so those are just some of the places I've been. That's only part of the collection. I have a few more at home in New York. Let me move to the shelf below that. We got some books, some more photos, candles, and then the shelf below that just has a few random things on it. And then we have the big mirror right here. This is usually where I get ready in the morning. Some more fake plants. You can see the rest of the kitchen. Got my hanging plant right there. As you can tell, <laughs> we like plants a lot here. <laughs> then over to the TV stand. It took me a long time to find a TV stand that I actually liked, but I ended up finding this 70s style TV stand that just really fit the aesthetic we were going for. I think it's so cute, also matches a lot of the other furniture we have. And there's a little photo of Weston and I when we went to Zion. It's kind of hard to see because of the glare on the glass, but I really love that picture of us. We have more fake plants, candles, and then my little workout bike that I don't use enough, but and then underneath there we just have the PS4 and the PS2. And then when you make your way over here, we have the couch. We're gonna put some artwork up behind the couch. I already have the artwork here. I'm just waiting on the frames to come in because some of the art is has unique dimensions, so I had to custom order some frames for it. Then that rug is literally one of the softest rugs I've ever had. I like it because it brings a little pop of color to the room. Then you make your way over here. We have the shelf that we put up above the fireplace. I think it just helps tie the whole room together. There's a few more things I want to put on the shelf, like some photos and stuff like that, but it's coming along. There's a little Venus flytrap, some candles. These are vintage records that I bought at a garage sale one time. Have our baby Groot and then another fake plant. Here's our fireplace that we've never used just because it's so hot in LA. <laughs> And then as you can see, we have the little balcony area. There's just some chairs and a table. Um, I wanna get an outdoor rug and then some more plants to put out there. And then maybe even some twinkly lights so we can sit out there in the evening. But so far I haven't found anything that I like. Here's a nice little overview of the whole living room as you can see. Over here is where we have the laundry. And we also use it as a storage closet for some of our cleaning supplies. Then over here is the bathroom. As you can see on the shower curtain, there's a little bit of orange. I kind of wanted a little pop of color in the bathroom since the rest of the apartment is kind of more pale and neutral tones. So I had the bright orange, kind of matches the orange on the shower curtain. Then right there is where we just keep some toilet paper, some other storage items, some candles, stuff like that. Over here is the mirror. So I got these little lights off of Amazon because I didn't like the lighting in the bathroom. Makes it a bit brighter in here. They can see the whole bathroom. It's really cute. It's small, but since there's only the two of us, it fits everything we need. So I like it. It's kind of tropical with all the bright colors and stuff. Then over here is the bedroom. On the left, we have our closet, which I'm not going to show you just because it just has all of our clothes in it. And then when you walk this way into the rest of the bedroom, you can see... We are missing another nightstand. They're back ordered on the matching nightstand. So Weston's just been using a box in the meantime, but you can see the art we have. It kind of has like this vintage 70s music style with like the car and the Joshua tree and all that. Then over here, we have a shelf. I have to finish decorating the shelf. I think some of the decor items are actually in the box being used as the nightstand. So I have to finish setting that up, but it's starting to come along nicely. Then we have my TV on the wall. I need to buy some things to help hide the cords, but besides that, I think the bedroom's starting to come along. I was more focused on the living room currently. 
You can see my nightstand. I have a photo of Weston, some of the stuffed animals. He has a photo of me on his nightstand. And then here is the dresser. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep the mirror in that corner. I haven't decided, but that's pretty much the bedroom for now. It's still a work in progress. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed our almost finished apartment. And if you could like and subscribe, that'd be awesome. Stay tuned for more vlogs. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.